like to call this experiment the invincible balloon. Uh, all you need is a candle, uh, some matches, a couple of balloons and some water. So let's get going. First of all, we'll just light our candle. And get that, um, get that lit up. So we've got our candle ready. So when a balloon goes up against a candle, uh, it seems like there can only be one winner. So blow up one of your balloons. Uh, tie a little knot in that. And then if I bring this balloon down onto the candle, uh, you probably have a good idea about how this is going to work out. So it gets lower and lower and lower and lower, <laughs> your balloon doesn't survive. So that balloon was not invincible, but this is where the, the science of it comes in. So we're going to light our next, we'll light the candle again. Uh, it does go without saying, you need to get a sane, sensible adult to help out with this kind of stuff. But this time there's going to do one thing that's a little bit different. So instead of just putting the balloon straight on top, we're going to use a little bit of water first. So this is the tricky bit. Pour a little bit of water into your balloon. Make a bit of a mess as well. Blow the balloon up. Just as before, only this time inside your balloon, there's a little layer of water. Tie it up. And then this time, I'm going to slowly pull the balloon down on top of the candle, giving it every chance to pop. So that is how you make an invincible balloon. On the bottom, you can hopefully see a little bit of soot where it's burnt itself closed. Uh, the final thing is what's going on? Why does it do that? You might be thinking, hopefully you are. Uh, the reason is the water inside the balloon is dissipating the heat away. So the, the flame's obviously hot. It warms up the water. So instead of melting the balloon, it warms up the water. The water conducts and moves that heat away. So it doesn't get so hot that it melts the balloon. And that's what makes your balloon invincible. Give it a go and let me know how you get on.